All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, importing and working with the terrain paint into a little bit. Um, I'm redoing this video from earlier. It may end up being a little bit longer just to make sure I cover everything and don't forget it. Um, I made a mistake that someone told me about, and so I'm trying to just update this as quickly as possible so that way uh, I can take the old one down and put this one up. So uh, I'll point out what the mistake was uh, here very shortly. So when you load into your terrain, um, I just loaded up a very basic uh, blank terrain. Uh, we are going to access the terrain tool, uh, which is control T. And it'll bring you to the terrain tool. Um, we are going to be focusing on the paint and the info tab. On the paint tab, uh, you're going to notice a variety of different options here. There's strength, radius, fall off, and angle. Uh, a couple different shapes of the tool. And then your actual paint textures. Uh, this is where I did something uh, incorrectly earlier. Uh, it is incorrect on my current map. Um, from what I understand, it is not game breaking. However, if you are nitpicky on how things work, um, you'll want to make sure this is done properly before you start your map. Uh, if you've already done this and you've progressed far into your map, uh, like where I'm at, I don't know what the fix is. Um, we'll have to touch base on that in a later time. But this is how you import and why from what I understand now, why you want to import it this way. So we are going to go to Armor Reforger, Terrains, Common, and Services. Um, initially, I had instructed you to just bring all these over at once with no specific order. Again, while that is not uh, game breaking, um, there is a more appropriate way to do it. and. I don't fully know the ins and outs of it, so I'm not going to try to get too detailed on it. But essentially, what I understand is the higher on this list, the um, the more appropriate it is. So it's like layers of the earth, from what I understand. So you're going to want your um, like your dirt textures up top, and then uh, further down the list will be the things that will go on top of dirt on what you would actually see on earth. So we are going to move over our dirt textures and then you know let's say um, I'm not going to do all these it would just take too long um, but obviously on top of dirt you would have your grasses uh, so you know there's beach grass uh, where is the other two I like to use this one and that one so we're just going to leave this as is but again you want to if you don't want to use all these, you don't have to uh, bring them over, but I would bring them all over, but make sure you have it layered appropriately because it'll affect how it's displayed on the map um, when the textures overlay each other. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the actual Arma uh, produced um, explanation of all this, uh, but I'm trying to keep this short and sweet and to the point. So uh, we're going to save. I'm going to close this, reload it, and then we're going to bring out a terrain tool again, control T, go to paint, and you should start to see a red circle. Now there is a couple different um, tips I'm going to give you, like some hotkeys with this circle. Um, if you don't see this circle, uh, select one of your paints, go to paint it. Uh, box is going to come up, uh, click OK in the box, uh, and then save and reload the world editor like we just did. So um, with the, the, the tool here, we have the round shape. Uh, for strength, the hotkey is to hold shift and move your uh, mouse forward and backwards. Radius is control and then mouse forward and backwards. Fall off is shift and control. And angle, there's nothing to do with the angle on the circle. That's for the rectangle I'll show here in a second. So what strength does is the stronger, um, let's see, we have to zoom in a little bit. The stronger the texture, I'm sorry, the, the stronger the strength. Let's leave that at four. The more it'll fill in. So notice how we have a uh, weaker strength and it's just patching but if we move over and we 
Again, shift, move your mouse forward. It's going to fill it in a lot quicker and more full. Okay. The way fall off works is the more in the center it is, and it'll spread out to that fall off section. So you can kind of click and it'll bleed out into that. <clears throat> Now, for the rectangle tool, uh, it's the same idea uh, with all the hotkeys. The new addition to this is the angle uh, because you want it to be able to line up certain ways. So how you hotkey the angle is left control and shift and use your mouse wheel and it'll spin and rotate it. And then uh, the kind of downside of using the hotkeys is if you move your mouse a little bit, it'll offset what you're just doing, like, like what you're seeing here. But I don't, I'm not too picky with it, so it doesn't bother me too much. Um, the next thing you're going to notice here is this red box, or this yellow box. It can turn red. This yellow box will only hold five textures, and you'll see what the textures are in the top left corner here. All right, it says default and dirt one. It can only hold five, so let's throw five in there. So dirt two beach grass and I will address a fix for why the grass looks like this uh, in just a little bit so we've got five textures in here uh, if we try to do another one it will not let us all right so what most people do is they typically do not like the default texture all right so if you go to your info tab and you click on this box, you can right click on default and change it to whatever texture you want that to now be merged with. So we'll get rid of that. So I like to use dirt too. So now I can add another overlay texture. I like using dirt too as an underlayment. Um, it just, I like the way it's got the rocks. I like the, the color of the dirt here. Um, so I tend to have that instead of default. When you are painting, uh, notice how, sorry, notice how the texture bleeds over into the other uh, box. This is going to happen. Um, so while yes, you do get five textures, you sometimes will get limited to only four textures because the way it bleeds over. Uh, this isn't 100% for fact. Um, I've just noticed it as I've painted around. Um, it's, it's caused me a little bit of an issue where I've had to be very specific in textures I was using. Um, so if we click this one here and we wanna make this dirt, we can merge it with dirt two if we want. Now look what happens when we try to merge the dirt two with default will not let us and that is because if you look at this grid here right it's a three by three grid those grids you're seeing are the grids that surround the tile that you are trying to work on and it is telling you that this grid cannot merge dirt 2 and replace dirt 2 in that grid with default because this tile has too many textures to it applied already so that's the, the downside with that, that bleed. Um, I don't know of a way to stop it. Again, I don't know it for 100% fact, but that is what I've experienced. Um, I run into this problem when I'm working in like a town and I have a couple of area, different areas of a town and I like to, I'm trying to use kind of more unique uh, paints and it just, just stops me from being able to do that. Not a big deal. I work around it, I figure it out. Um, so that is, uh, kind of painting in a nutshell as far as what the limitations are, um, how to bring them over, and again, correcting how you properly uh, import these, the, the we don't call it, the importance of how you import it. Again, the higher up on the list is kind of the bottom, it's like reverse, right? The bottom layer of the earth. You start with your dirt and you go to what is on top of dirt, your grass, your rocks, things like that. I'm not doing that here because that's just going to take too much time. Um, the grass here 
and why it looks like this. Um, from what I understand, the grass looks like this because it is blended in with the sat map, the satellite map import. Uh, there is a temporary fix for this. Um, I have not messed around with my sat map myself. I just import the standard one that I got for my, my landmass I'm using. I've not made a sat map yet. So to address a temporary fix, you're going to go in your resource browser, browser and you are going to look for CP. Uh, you can do space or underscore, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do space, grass, 01. And the reason I'm doing that one is because that is one of the grasses I'm using. So whatever texture is giving you this, this god-awful color here, you need to go into the CP underscore version of it. And we are going to override it. Do not duplicate it um, because you'll have to, from what I understand, re-import this um, versus if you override it, you can just delete your override and it'll get rid of any changes you made to when you do your sat map, it'll, it'll make it look uh, more appropriate. So we're gonna override it. We're gonna open up our override, click on search, type in sat, S-A-T, and we're gonna change sat map lerp and sat map brightness to a complete zero. Save it, exit, go back to world editor, and now you see our grass one is perfectly fine. We're going to do the same thing for grass two. We're going to override, open it, type in sat, bring those to zero, save it, close it, back to world editor, and now that one is fine. And uh, which one is that one? Is that a uh, beach grass? Uh, maybe I'll do that one. Forger, beach grass, sat, like that. Oh, cancel. Close that. Oh, yes, save. And now all of our grasses look perfectly fine. So that is the fix for why the grass looks like that. Um, I'll show you kind of a quick idea of what I like to do. I'm, I'm by no means, I'm very amateur with, with uh, the paint and stuff, um, but this is just kind of how I like to do some of my painting, um, you know, just kind of, uh, where's it at, bring it around here, just so that way you do see some of the, the dirt, you know, below the texture, it's a little, little eroded, I guess is what you'd call it, and then... You know, you have a little bit of fall off to it, and then you can throw in a little bit of extra different types of grass. You know, it just changes it up a little bit. Uh, where is grass three? Bring in grass three. Oh, um, uh, I'm not mess with that one. So that is um, hopefully. A, a good enough explanation on how to bring in the textures, um, how to properly get them them lined up, and uh, how to fix the satellite image causing that weird color. Um, if I again did something wrong, please let me know and I'll readdress it and republish another video. Thank you.